Hi, I'm roving reporter Janelle Carpenter. I'm here at the LISD Center for a Sustainable Future. As you can see behind me, things are shaping up. Let me show you around. A building envelope is the interface, the connection, between the interior of a building and its outdoor environment. It includes the walls, the roof, and the foundation, how they serve as a thermal barrier. The thermal barrier plays an important role in determining the amount of energy necessary to maintain a comfortable indoor environment. The Center for a Sustainable Future has these features as well as enhanced insulation, earth berming, overlapping joints, connections, and seals at the intersections of walls, windows, roofs, and flooring to ensure the interior atmosphere will be controlled. A controlled building envelope focuses on lowering emissions from the building, insulation, and air sealing roofs, walls, windows, doors, and skylights. The black vegetative or green roof tray system is a way to control plant environments. The vegetation prevents the rain from quickly running down the roof surface and off-site. Instead, water percolates through soil and feeds plants through the rooting systems in the process. The vegetative roof tray and planter box systems also provides a storage component and enhances the quality of runoff through natural filtration. The system is composed of layers, the waterproofing layer on the roof, the soil, and the plant layer. The waterproofing layer includes a rubber membrane. The soil layer adds many pounds per square foot of weight to a roof, depending on the size of the garden area. The building was engineered to hold the additional weight. The system can significantly extend the life of the roof and reduce the heating and cooling costs of a building. Part of the vegetative roof will be prepared for special open-sided trays, allowing the roots to mesh with a mixture of low-maintenance, low-water sedums. Other trays and concrete planter boxes are available for students to landscape and experiment. The solar tube, solar tube lights or daylight tube lights have a roof-mounted unit, typically a clear dome that captures sunlight. Full-spectrum sunlight travels down the tubular daylight device. Sunlight hits a frosted glass diffuser and illuminates a room with bright, indirect light. Controls and motion sensors are installed for turning LED fixtures on and off for daylight control on campus. Solar tube lighting cuts down the need for artificial lighting, saves energy, and costs. The indirect lighting is more comfortable to the eyes, and studies show that People are emotionally happier when working in natural daylight. In slab heating or radiant heating are tubes that circulate hot water. They are installed in the concrete slab when it's poured, which turns the thermal mass of the concrete into a radiator of heat. The natural water source is pulled from a heat pump in the geothermal well on the Center for Sustainable Future campus. The water is pulled from the earth, heated, and pumped through tubing or conduits, which then warms the floor. Radiant heating has the advantages of being inconspicuous and cost-effective, while providing a warm, even comfortable heat. These heating slabs are installed in the floors of the entrances under the carpet wells and throughout the entire new greenhouse flooring. Although energy use is a major reason to use radiant heating, the plants in the greenhouse will also benefit from the heat during cold months. A cistern is an underground tank for storing rainwater. As rain falls onto the Center for a Sustainable Futures vegetative roof, it will first irrigate the greenery. The runoff will travel downwards to the filtering ease trough. Water will be rerouted into the 10,000 gallon cistern located between the pole barn and the new greenhouse, where it will be stored. A timed underground electrical pump will send water through a drip irrigation system to water the plants in the demonstration plots. Hope to see you at the LISD Center for a Sustainable Futures Open House.